So I am taking the duels off of the 8670 today. Move the side dress bar out of the way. Need the they're got like three days of decent weather, so I'm going to get these duels off. So I can hook this to the hay vine and mow some hay. Basically got all my tractors are narrowed up for 30 inch rows, so that kind of stinks. Much prefer having something a little on the white side just for mowing hay with. I, I have mowed hay with this tractor. This was what I was using for mowing and doing hay in because it was set wide, because it was the tillage tractor. Now it's uh, going to be narrow, or it's got to be narrow because it's a planting tractor now, so. Uh, just hang on a second and I'll set you guys up somewhere here to so you can watch me pull this other duel off. Okay, side dress bar. Progress, well, it's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to everybody. Um, hopefully, you had a good day and it was a pretty decent day here, so. Uh, side dress bar. Got everything. Got my lines run, my injectors are on, holders are all replaced. <clears throat> and my anti-drip, and then in here is my orifice. So if I gotta change, put down more product or less product, I would have to 
basically you just you spin this it's like a cap you just spin that and pop it off there's an orifice in there um pump is mounted and plumbed in basically I got these five and then these six so this, you got six for the right side and five for the left side um, I have shutoffs and gauges mounted I still got to get my I'm waiting on the dealership for my hoses because I'll bring my hoses along the frame here and then bring a little plate up and weld a couple of T's on it. It'll be somewhere in here, however, it, it depends. When I get to that point, I'll weld a couple of T's on and then run it to the SCV on the tractor. Um, because there ain't no point in separating the wings out on it. But. And then I got, uh, I got my gauges on there for each side. They're saying basically PSI range of 20 for low and 50 for the high, so. <clears throat> and then that is going to be my bypass for the pump. So I still got to put that on. I ain't got it tightened in there yet, but it's on there. I got to run a hose back up towards the saddle tanks. It'll be the next thing is getting my brackets redone there on the saddle tanks. And then, uh, once I get that them redone, I got, I'll go put the saddle tanks on it. I got basically two hoses that run on the saddle tanks on the bottom side there, how I had it plumbed before. One of them that went from tank to tank. <clears throat> and then I, it went, just went from tank to tank. And then it had, I believe it was on the, no, it was on the specs. I don't remember. I have to go look at the dang tanks, but, but I had it at the end of the tank. Out here to the end of the tank, there was a ball valve, and that was my fill port. I think it was on the back, I'm pretty sure it was on the back side. And then right here, as you can see, is I just got a zip tied there, the hose and a strainer. So there's a so there's two lines that run from tank to tank. I just didn't want my my uh, fill hose to actually interfere with the pump back there, which probably does not matter, but. It was just the way I did it, but that will be uh, my next thing, I guess, is get the bracketry up here on the tractor straightened around, and then uh, put the tanks on, and I'm supposed to hopefully have my hoses by... Tuesday or Wednesday, they said they're waiting on some fittings. They were, didn't have enough fittings. And their supplier, they said it was going to be Tuesday or Wednesday, so just waiting on that. But then I should be ready for side dressing, which is good because it's getting to be that time. But. <clears throat> I was going to mow hay 
was gonna go mow hay yesterday and I do not have a hay bind. I'm still looking for one, but um, so I rent one and they did not have any available. They were all rented out, so I went and grabbed a neighbor spreader. I have one piece that they came and mowed for me and bailed it. The only alfalfa piece I have. It's like six acres. But the neighbors, they come and mowed it and bailed it for me. They do all my bailing. And <clears throat> but I got about 20 acres of grass hay that I got to get made yet. But I always rent a mower for that little on the rougher side but they'll come and bail it for me and since I couldn't uh, get it mowed yesterday I'm glad I didn't because we ended up with uh, eight tenths of rain last night so now I'm glad I didn't actually get it mowed but pulled the duels off the 86 yesterday and 88 sitting over here the uh, well, my pressure washer sitting up there. I gotta just take it in, pull it apart, and it's not not wanting to pressure up. So let's take that in. I pulled the head off of it, and I'm not seeing anything that's standing out to me that I can tell is wrong with it. Springs all look good in it and everything, but uh, planter's still in the shed here. I gotta, I'm wanting to get the pressure washer going so that way I can get this thing cleaned up and I gotta blow the fertilizer lines out. Uh, seeds all sucked out of it. But, I mean, it ain't filthy horrible or anything. It could be put away the way it is. But I, that and I got some closing wheels I noticed on the back ones. I got a couple closing wheels. I got one gauge wheel I got to replace on it. Well, probably a couple gauge wheels. But I want to get it washed up and I want to get it kind of go through some of it. I think I might have a few bushings to a few bushings to check out, maybe replace up on the arms up in there. But it'd be nice to get it. If I get it done before I put it away, it'd be nice, but I guess if I got to do it in the spring, it would is what it is and but crops are not looking too bad what's the beans so i guess uh that's all i got for you right now Hopefully everybody had a good Father's Day and we'll talk to you later.